हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट मैनिपुलेशन ऑफ प्रोसेस एड्रेस स्पेस पार्ट टू इन पार्ट वन वी स्टडीड वॉट इज रीजन वॉट आर डिफरेंट ऑपरेशन टू बी परफॉर्म ऑन रीजन एंड फ्रॉम दैट ऑपरेशन वी स्टडीड लॉकिंग एंड अनलॉकिंग अ रीजन अटैचिंग अ रीजन न द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस सेशन आर एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन algorithm for changing the size of region changing the size of region is invoked uh, whenever process may expand or contract its virtual address space means when process uh, wish to expand its address space or contract its its address space at that time changing in the size of region is invoked so when this happens this happens whenever process invokes sbrk system call Again, this will may happen whenever process invokes grow region algorithm. Now, in grow region, there will be the only one case that process may expand its uh, region. Okay, uh, it expands its process address uh, space. So, grow region is used to change the size of a region. Now, while doing this, while changing the size of region, while growing the size of region, it is necessary to check the virtual address legality. Means. if process total size is only 8 mb and al already 7 mb are occupied and the process wish to attach one more 2 mb uh, after 7 mb then it is not possible so in that case it has to check whether that virtual address is legal or not so the whenever it is growing the region then that address virtual address do not overlap with other region that must be checked by the kernel before growing the region so never invoke a grow region to increase the size of a share region that is already attached to several processes means what whenever we have a shared region that shared region is accessed by many processes okay several processes are accessing uh, that region so don't uh, increase the size of share region and never in invoke that grow region algorithm on a share region so two cases where grow region can be invoked on existing region the first case is sbrk on data region of a process means if a process has a data region then on that data region it can invoke sbrk system call then second case is whenever there is automatic growth of a user stack now both in this case both data and stack regions are private regions so on these two regions it can invoke grow region algorithm both are private regions uh, so it is possible to invoke that uh, region grow region algorithm on that uh, stack and data region now for uh, in increasing that size of region kernel has to use grow region algorithm so what is this algorithm first input uh, is given to uh, to this algorithm as pointer to per process region table entry and second is change in the size whether that size is positive means whether it wants to expand or whether it wants to contract so change in the size of that region positive or negative and output will be the increase region it is not returning anything that's why it is written none so the first step kernel has to check whether region size is increasing if it is increasing then check the legality of new region size means whether that uh, virtual address space that they wish to expand whether it is legal or not it, it should not overlap with other virtual address of the process so make sure that the memory is available means check the legality of new uh, region size if memory is available then allocate that auxiliary tables means page table now as we wish to expand the memory uh, or virtual address space so it is necessary to allocate the page table and that page table will contain the address of that memory which uh, kernel is expanding for that process so for particular page the uh, page number what is the address is given that must be uh, stored in page table so allocate that page tables also Uh, if system doesn't support demand paging then allocate physical memory and initialize the auxiliary tables uh, 
so uh, this means to accommodate the larger region and allocate the physical memory means if your system is not supporting the demand paging then it will accommodate the larger region and allocate the physical memory <coughs> but if region size is not increasing if region size is not increasing means the wish to contract the region means the change in the size of region is negative in that case uh, it has to remove the physical address space so it will free the physical memory and it also free the auxiliary table that means entries in the page table page table contains page numbers and the uh, address of that pages in the physical memory so that are removed from that tables and after that it initializes all the auxiliary tables that is p region table memory management register triple and after that it set the size field in the process table so though the region is uh, either positive means whether it is expanding or whether it is contract uh, it is minimizing in both cases finally it has to initialize all the uh, auxiliary tables that is all p region table memory management register triple and it has to set the size field in the process table the final size of the process so initially if size of the process is 7 mb and if it is increasing by 1 mb then the total size 8 mb will be stored if the process is uh, decreasing its size then from 7 mb to 5 mb or 6 mb the final process uh, size it must be set into the process table so this is what about the grow region algorithm now uh, just tell me a uh, process may expand or contract its virtual address space with which system calls or under which circumstances okay let us see uh, as uh, i already told you that uh, process expand or contract its address space using sbrk system call or uh, this sbrk system call is basic memory management system call this is the memory management system call and it is used to control the amount of memory allocated to data region okay it is used to control the amount of memory which is allocated to the data region so <coughs> process expands and contracts its virtual address space using sbrk system call now how this grow region algorithm invoke that we will see now we will see examples suppose we have a stack region okay suppose the stack of the region of a process it starts at virtual address 128k and currently it contains 6kb okay uh, the it starts at 128k and it currently contains 6kb and the kernel wants to extend the size of the region by 1kb okay means already 6 kb are occupied now it wish to add one more uh, kb 1 kb okay to that so it wish to add one page into the page table so the process size is acceptable and virtual address uh, 134k must be increased to 135k okay uh, so as shown here uh, we have per process region table for uh, each and every process so uh, that per process region table contains three entries page table address process virtual address and size and uh, protect bit so as shown here the vir starting virtual address is 128 kb as uh, given in the problem statement and total size is 6 kb okay which is currently occupied by that process so uh, this is uh, stack is dynamic growth now uh, whenever it wish to uh, push more items into the stack at that time it has to increment uh, the stack size so already 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 are occupied as you can see this is the page table now whenever it wish to increase by 1 kb so the uh, as you can see this 6 kb changed to 7 kb okay and uh, we can see that the this one last page 976k new page is added here sorry new page is added at the end here as you can see the new page 976 kb is added at end of the page table so new entry is uh, given into the page table now why this is legal why they say that process size is acceptable because total size of page table is what six seven eight nine total size is nine so it is possible to expand this and uh, the new page is added into uh, this uh, page table 
okay and the starting address of this is 128k then 129 130 131 32 uh, uh, 33 and then 34 uh, to 35 is expanded okay so this is what about the uh, how grow region algorithm uh, increases the size of the process whenever there is a dynamic growth of the uh, stack so this is how uh, kernel can increment or decrement the size of the uh, processes so these are the references